Okay, next one. Um, just to show you what different surfaces look like, if you haven't caught on yet, uh, look at surface C. You're in the isometric. It's a vertical plane facing to the right side. Here it is in the front view. Notice it's right below the top view of the same thing. We see it in the edge view in the top. We see it in the edge view on the front. And in the right side view, it's visible as a square. Okay? Also notice this curve here on top. It goes tangent to the front vertical surface. And where it becomes not vertical, somewhere along right in the center of that center line, there is no edge there between the two planes, okay? So it's a little misleading what we're seeing here, because this view here, this front, front, front vertical plane, when it gets up here, it's actually going away from your point of view. It's going into the drawing, and we can't see that. Uh, let's see if I can go to the next slide. I can't just pass the next slide. I have to unzoom it and then go to the next slide. Okay, this is a similar drawing, but this drawing shows where the curve is tangent. It's still tangent, okay, to this vertical surface. See, there is no line across there like you might expect. Well, there's two surfaces coming together. Yes, they're coming together, but they're tangent to one another. So we do not show a line representing them coming together. In the next drawing, you'll see the opposite, where we have the edge coming, two, two surfaces coming together, but they're not tangent to one another, so there is a line between them. So remember, whenever you look at an object, if that object is on a plane that's inclined to your point of view, a circle, a hole through a part, or a cylinder coming out at you or something, that cylinder will not look round from any point of view except looking perpendicular to the end of the circle, okay? So if that hole or that cylinder is on an inclined plane, you will see it look like an ellipse. Two adjacent views. These are called adjacent views. Top and front are adjacent to one another. Front and right side are adjacent to one another. And the right side and the top view are called related views. They're related over the miter line, okay? And But that's how you could draw a line that you really don't know how you draw by visualizing it. Modeling is another tool. If you have a hard time visualizing what the two-dimensional image is of a part, uh, you can get a piece of clay or, or, or a Play-Doh, you know, you're at home, maybe you have that available. Maybe your kid brother has some Play-Doh you can grab. Uh, or you can get some uh, sticky rice or mashed potatoes. <laughs> Uh, you know, make a block of it and cut away, and then look at it from one view. So modeling is one way to do this. As soon as you learn NX modeling, if you don't know any other modeling software, uh, you could use modeling to actually help you do your your uh, hand sketching homework. Unfortunately, we're not getting to modeling until after the hand sketching is all done.